Dear friends, this is not a full tutorial, only I have recorded this video for my Patreon members. Uh, I need some more time to create the full tutorial because there are many, many different details. Uh, and this workflow now is available on my Patreon. So if you like, you can join my Patreon and download the workflow and also enjoy the video. But be sure in the next days, I will try to record a full video and I will go through all the details. Hello friends, in this video, I want to show you how to use my last workflow for creating seamless textures. Okay, this is my last workflow that is ready now. This is the first version. And in this version, I am using the RG3 extension and it can help me to keep my workflow organized this workflow has about 10 different step and each step is defined exactly in a group with a specific number and as you can see all of these groups are mute now and let me show you something here there is a shortcut node and whenever you press one on the keyboard after that you will zoom into this area okay and this node is helping me to manage the nodes so if i from here if i press on or off you can see all the nodes in this group will be bypass and easily I can do that for all of my notes okay so let me show you how this workflow can work at first you can click on extra option and after that click on auto queue and change from instance to change okay so make sure that this option will be on and press the Q okay so now I have to turn on the first step and after that automatically it will start to generate the texture okay so uh, let me do a test for example with this texture here I am pasting my texture after that there is a node for resizing the texture to STXL size it's very important and here you can see tile of the texture and for example easily you can see that the left right bottom and top of the this texture is not working well in the first pass I have three different group the first one is making is for making high pass filter uh, from the vast node suit uh, I can use an image high pass filter but it was not working fine so I decided to mix that and do some adjustment and finally I can get a high pass filter from that node for example something like this <clears throat> and in this area by getting help from this node get color tool I am trying to get the average color of the texture so these two parts are very important and each part I am I have for each part I am using many different nodes and extensions uh, from all the databases okay finally I am blending the high pass result and the color tune with this node again from Confi UI layer style and be sure that you will not change this because the blending mode always should be in linear light 
So finally, you can see a texture with better equalized shadow and lighting in the left and on the right. So for example, you can compare the result. Okay. After that, I have second group because here I can see some seams and edges. Okay. And I have to turn on the second group. So just press on here. It will be turned on. And because we have selected the automatic queue, it will generate automatically. Okay, now you can see that we cannot see the seams and they are blended together. Here, there is a node that is doing that for us. Also, you can increase the blending amount. And after that, it's trying to blend more area in the picture. For example, here you can see one edge from previous image. It's trying to make some, some kinds of overlapping. But for each image, you should try and find the optimum amount. And sometimes it can work for you. But sometimes it cannot work for you. Let me show you. For example, this time I want to send a texture like this. Once that I am sending the texture to the load image, automatically it will generate the equalized version and after that it will try to blend the edges of the texture together okay but for example here you can see that from the large pattern i am going to a small pattern because just it is trying to blend the image so for the textures like this this group number two is not working for us. So let me turn it, turn it off and turn on the second, third group. In the third group, I am trying to make some gap in the image and make it ready for sending to InPaint by using these nodes. And here you can see that I'm trying to generate image like this and exactly this is the image that I want to send to the inpaint and this is the mask okay so let me minimize that and now I have to activate the load checkpoint and prompt and also oops excuse me and also the focus in paint, in paint on gap. Here I have two options. One in painting will be done with focus extension and one other will be done with unit. You can select one of them. You, you can't use both of them in your result. Maybe just you can do the process with both two groups and after that you can take the decision. Okay, so now I have to activate the group four and five. So press one on the keyboard, go to the fast group bypasser and turn on five, four and five, one. Okay, now it's trying to load the checkpoint and After that, you can see that it's trying to generate some leather pattern on our texture. Okay, and you can see it can be very creative. And here is the tilted version. Also, I can turn it on and you can see the result. So. Also, let me turn on the 5-2. So here I'm using the SDXL InPaint 
safe tension model and I have to load that with unit loader and also it can do a good job but actually I prefer to use the focus but sometimes maybe you will like the result from this method so it's completely dependent to you uh, but now <laughs> I prefer to use the focus so let me mute the 5-2 and now uh, I have some problem here still you can see some edge overlapping here and here okay so again I made some group at first to composite the in painting result with the previous with the previous input because every time that image going to the sampler and processing with VAE after that it will be changed so some amount of these seams that you can see here are related to the VAE and I have to mix the result with original input image so let me turn on the step 6 So step six is turn it on and after that you can see that now there is not any seams in the center of the image but we can see two seams on here and here and after that also it's repeating on the outer tiles. So the next step is designed for uh, preparing the mask and make and make some shifting and after that I have another processor case sampler for fixing these two small arrow so now I have to turn on number seven and number eight number seven and number eight so automatically the image will pass to this part and I have to, uh, just let me show you what what I did here I'm trying to use a image shift for shifting the image and finding the gap position and also by creating two circle and duplicating on X and Y on a specific size I can get these two circles exactly on the same position and every time that you will change your image depending to the size of the image it will be calculated so now here we can see the final image without any gap let me open the preview so the gap that was here and that was here is completely removed and we are ready to turn on the final composition so let me turn on the final composition and also if I click on this arrow I will go to the final composition area okay we have that and if you look to the texture closely now there is not any seams on the edges and now this is perfect so and the last step is for making uh, making the PBR textures so let me turn on the step 10 and here you can see the normal displacement or height map or and also cavity and here you can check the normal map that is working perfect and also the height map that really is seamless so I try to do that for you with some 
explain but actually if you turn on all these steps and just click and release some picture on this area after that automatically it will do all the necessary things for you for example now we have this onion image and here you can see that it's trying to fill the gap with some other type of onion and here it's trying to do some calculation for creating the mask and make some gap and prepare the image for in painting <coughs> okay and just on those two parts it will try to repair the image in the final step it's trying again to composite with the high quality image and it's all now we have the texture seamless texture normal map cavity and height map uh, for if you drag the png file in your comfy way after that you can see some missing extension so you can go to manager and click on install missing custom notes and after that from this list you can select all of them and click on install um, maybe you will have a problem with comfy ui layer style and if you had any problem you can go to this github page and exactly try to run these commands on your computer and after that you can also install the configure layer style on your computer as well but maybe you will not have any problem okay um, i will try to make some more explain on details on all these parts for you uh, but it will take some time for me <laughs> so until the next video be happy see you